Next in our EP Fiber Series line is the Thunder Creek Minnow. This is a classic bait fish pattern that can be used in salt water or fresh water. All you need to do is change the size of the hook, the color pattern, or the length of the tail. Typically this pattern is done with bucktail, but we're going to be using the EP fibers to create the body, and then the EP sparkle to create a little body flash. For this fly, I'm going to be using a long shank streamer hook, and we're going to start a small thread base right at about the point of the hook, where we'll be tying in our crystal flash tail. Now I'm tying about four pieces of crystal flash here at the midpoint and bending it back and tying it down. And for this one I'm doing a fairly long tail, about one and a half lengths longer than the hook shank itself. And I'm going to build in the body here with a pearl braid. You could also use tinsel as well, or just completely skip the step. Next we'll be adding our first color of the EP Sparkle, and this will run down the midsection of the fly. And I'll be wrapping half of this around the thread, and then tying it into place right on top. And then trim this to the length of the Crystal Flash. Next, we'll be building the bottom half of the body. And I'm using about a 4 to 5 inch piece of the EP original fibers. And I've already taped the ends. And we'll be folding this back so we'll be tying in the opposite direction that we typically do for most flies. Now we'll add our second color of the EP Sparkle. And this will create the top section of the head when we're all done. So we're adding this in now rather than after the second EP fibers. And then we'll be adding the same length piece and lining it up with the white bottom fibers. And then we want to taper that off. And start working the sections apart. We want to make sure we get these sections to lay flat rather than rounded. So I'm flattening that out, pulling it back, and then doing a couple of wraps to hold it in place. And then the same thing for the sparkle. I want this nice and flat down the center of the head. And then the same thing for the bottom. The advantage of using the EP fibers here instead of bucktail, it adds a bit more bulk and form to the body, but it reduces the size of the head on this fly. And then I'm adding stick-on eyes here. I'm using fairly small eyes for this one, but you can use bigger eyes or you can paint them on yourself.
and then I'll be using UV resin to build the shape of the head. And it's a lot easier to do one eye at a time. And there's a new take on the classic Thunder Creek Minnow with synthetic fibers instead of bucktail.